the importance that you place on women is one of the reasons you don't get the woman you really want. It's pretty counterintuitive, but once you see it, it becomes so obvious you can't really unsee it. I'm going to show you in today's video one of the biggest indicators that will reveal if an upcoming date is going to go well or not for you or an upcoming relationship. If you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel and I help guys become men they can be proud of who attract women that they're proud to be with. And once you do understand this, you will become a lot more attractive to women. You're going to feel a lot more grounded in your life and in your masculine center. And you'll feel like a man who's on his purpose in his life, who has the ability to be effective, who has the ability to deal with challenges when they arise. So if you want to be a stand for masculinity and the empowerment of men going forward, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below and let's crack into the video. So when it comes to you meeting a woman, you guys have met somewhere, you guys are planning on going on a date somewhere, or maybe you've been dating for a little bit, it's always interesting to notice the phenomenon of how much importance do you place on this interaction? How much importance do you place on this date? How much importance do you necessarily place on if this relationship works out or not? Now, What we often see and what I've seen is really interesting is that men put so much importance on a particular meetup with uh, a certain woman that they have, you know, it occupies a lot of space in their mind, but the date's happening tomorrow. They think about what they were going to wear. How's this going to happen? How's that going to happen? And this is not to be confused with being prepared. You know, you want to be prepared. You want to be effective when it comes to your relationships with women. And part of that is being prepared. But for me, most men are putting way too much importance on specific outcomes with specific women in their lives. And it's not that those interactions should not be valued. 100% they should be. But it's almost an indication that that man doesn't really have much else going for him in his life. You know, he doesn't have an exciting project that he's building on. Where I would say most of your focus should be as a man, masculinity is building something in the world, creating something in the world. And that takes up most of your attention. And then you've got some time for your relationship as well. But this is where my focus is on my mastery. What am I bringing into the world? But what happens in today's age of cookie cutter jobs and men just doing what they're told so they can get a paycheck at the end of the day. It's like they've lost that passion. They've lost that mastery for something and the the importance that should be going in in that area of them building up their masculinity or being effective in the world. All of a sudden that all gets dumped onto women. And that's not really fair on the woman either because then you come on the dates and it's not just like, hey, Let's see how this goes. If it works out, awesome. If it doesn't, cool. At least we gave it a go. Guys are like coming with all their baggage, you know, like, oh my gosh, please, this has to work out because if this woman can validate me, that will mean that I am a good man, which is a very dangerous game to play because that means your approval is always linked to if something goes well. It's like the girl can almost play you around like a puppet. But when a girl meets a man that says like, wow, like this man's engaged with me and he's curious to get to know me more, but whether I approve of him or disapprove of him, he's still sure in himself. He's still sure on his self-esteem. He has importance in many other areas of his life. So this area of dating and this date or this interaction doesn't hold the ultimate level of importance in his mind. He's not thinking about it 24-7. Oh my gosh, did she text me back? Wait, was the right text? What should I say next? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's like, why are you putting so much importance in this area? There's normally a deeper reason between why this phenomenon plays out. And as I said, part of the masculine is you want to be effective in the world. You want to be effective with women and amazing. Learn how to do that. Go get trained on how to do that. A part of your effectiveness as a man will always tie into that. But the level of importance that some men are putting on dates with women and if it goes well or not, what does this mean about me? It's like sometimes I already know if a date's going to go well or not before the dates even happened, just in terms of the mindset of the man going into it. 
So I'll throw it over to you. What's your type of mindset going into a date or when you text a woman or don't? Again, you don't want to become this heartless robot, but are you putting this big importance? Well, if this happens, then that's going to happen. And like, if this happens, then that's going to happen. I must make sure to do this. It's almost like there's a lack of like trust and faith. Uh, I used to play a lot of soccer when I was growing up. And when I would play in a big game, I would notice when I would be like doing well, I'd be going into a game and there'd be almost like no mental chatter. I've done my training. I've been doing all the drills that I needed to do all week so that I'm prepared. It's good to be prepared. But when it came to the day of the match, the day of the game, I wouldn't even think about it because I just trust like I've prepared. I've done the work. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And nine times out of 10, I'd play really well in that game. I'd score a great goal or I'd, I'd score some goals in that game. And then I would also notice that like when maybe I hadn't done the work or I was doubting my own self-worth, I got, I got moved up to a bigger team. They wanted me to come play for them. And all of a sudden I was playing with players that were much better and I was starting to doubt my worth. And I would notice my self-talk on the way to those games would more be about like, oh my gosh, like if this happens, if the guy passes it to me like this, I'm going to run and do it like this. It's like I'm trying to pre-plan and pre-meditate everything on there instead of like, cool, I've done my work. I'm going to trust out there that I'm going to go put on a big performance. And nine times out of 10, it wouldn't be a good performance. You know, it would go really badly. And I would notice this like over importance on this mental chatter and trying to micromanage everything of the situation and what's going to happen and how am I going to deal with it? That actually shows a lack of value. That shows a lack of self-belief. That shows a lack of self-confidence. Sure, prepare to some extent, but then let it go. Cool, whatever's happened is going to happen. Don't show this like level of importance because it also affects you on the date. As I said, when you go meet the woman and you're bringing in, it's almost like she can feel all this mental chatter. It's like this huge bag, this baggage that you're bringing in and she like, you dump it down as you're sitting across from her and she can almost feel this weight of the importance of this for you. And that's actually a repulsive feeling. Imagine I was a coach, which I am, and you were interested in getting coaching with me and we started chatting and I'm like, yeah, bro, like, like, would you want to sign up now? Like, oh my gosh, if he says this, I'm going to do this. Like, you'd almost feel that. You'd almost feel the importance or the neediness. And I'll be like, is this guy actually really good at his coaching? If he was, would he be so needy and hungry for me to sign up? Potentially not. And that's exactly what the girls think. Like, if this guy had options, if he really was this cool, attractive guy, surely other women would be into him. And if other women were into him and he knew he was attractive, he wouldn't put so much importance on this date. So by backwards rationalizing, the amount of importance that he's putting on the date must show me that he actually doesn't really have that many options because otherwise he wouldn't be overthinking a date like, that, like this. This must be something special to him. This must be something new to him. And I want to be with a man that has some competence, you know, uh, that knows himself and his own self-esteem outside of this relationship, outside of this dating dynamic. And most men are failing miserably at this. And I don't want you to be one of them. Okay, so hope you enjoyed today's video. What is your comment? What's your experience being like with importance and going into a date feeling like it has to really go well? versus just going in in a casual way and, and seeing what unfolds. Drop a comment down below on your biggest takeaway. And as always, hit the subscribe button so you get notified of these videos when they come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.